بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم and assalamu alaikum guys today what we are going to discuss is the two most basic engineering softwares related to design one of them is AutoCAD and the other one is SolidWorks first of all I would like to show you the <coughs> display content of both of the softwares and then we will discuss each software separately so first of all here let's see the um, AutoCAD basically I have uh, <coughs> installed 2012 version of AutoCAD you can also use latest versions okay so in AutoCAD we have different components uh, which we can use to draw our required drawings this is line this is polyline here and here it is circle okay this line is used to draw a simple line and uh, what basically the <coughs> main dis difference between uh, a simple line and a polyline is that uh, in polyline, basically is a uh, continuous line, and is uh, mm, uh, you can basically uh, tilt this line as per your requirement. Mm, in, in other words, we can say that you can add um, an arc mm, in this line by just uh, using different points on it, and then you can. Uh, just make it into different shapes like uh, zigzag or whatever you like um, On the other hand, this line is just quite a simple line. It just generates simple straight line Okay, this is basically a circle and uh, By using this we can draw a circle in our um, To the wireframe Okay, Similar, similarly, this is an arc in arc we can basically we have multiple options like three point arc also star center and an arc similarly star center and angle also star center and length and these all these different types of arcs can be drawn according to their own specifications which we will discuss later later okay so next we have <coughs> different uh, geometric shapes like <coughs> sphere and also rectangles and polygon as you guys definitely know that uh, the basic difference between square, square and rectangle is uh, the square has all um, 90 angles 4 angles out of 90 similarly rectangle but in square we have all <coughs> four sides have equal length while in rectangle we have <coughs> parallel two parallel sides of equal length okay the other one is polygon and uh, by using this, by editing, by using simple edit editing techniques, we can draw other shapes like rectangle by using this simple polygon, uh, sorry, polygon, and we can also draw hexagon, octagon, and other shapes. Okay, this is Hatch. This is one of the important tools of uh, AutoCAD. Uh, actually, this is used to um, fill the internal emptiness of our to the di diagram either we can um, add colors we have different types of hats which we will study later and uh, this move this is move this is basically used to move our um, drawing from one point to the uh, other in the 2d frame to the wireframe this is stretch uh, this is copy rotate mirror mirror basically okay mirror mirror is basically uh, a command used to generate exactly the same um, shape uh, that we have already drawn about another axis and in, in actually mirror used to draw a same shape about some simple specified axis and uh, just like as shown in this uh, <coughs> uh, I, I, what I, wish I, I should say okay so this is scale and <coughs> this is array arrays mm, arrays we have basically two types of arrays uh, mm, uh, rectangular array and uh, path array and polar array polar array basically is uh, circular array and uh, this one is used to move 
uh, draw some patterns, some predefined pattern. Okay, this is to the fillet and chamfer are basically two <coughs> um, things in design, in engineering design, I should say. Fillet is basically used to convert a corner into curved shape. Okay, and if we click on it, we will have these options. Fillet, uh, here as the icon says, it can turn some corner into a uh, and some an edge into a arc shaped thing so this chamfer chamfer is obviously um, used to turn some sharp edge or corner into a less sharp edge and um, by using chamfering okay <clears throat> and similarly we have blend curves blend is used as something more extraordinary than fillet and chamfer and we will discuss this later when we will Mm, go for okay uh, on the other hand all the other things are uh, basically not uh, doesn't require to be uh, discussed in these early stages because we also have uh, newcomers we also have uh, newbies in our courses so they need to understand they can't digest uh, this much of information so i'm just going to go through this uh, display panel of the autocad Okay, so this this is basically a layer portion in which you can use different layers. You can draw your drawings in different layers, just like you do in uh, Auto. Uh, sorry, solid. Sorry, sorry. Just like you do in Photoshop or <coughs> um, and, and in Photoshop, I I, um, I assume that most of you have uh, used Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, in which. Uh, logo designers or posters are <coughs> designed in different layers so similarly in AutoCAD you can do your work in different layers so you can assign some uh, layer a specified color a specified pattern a specified size of text and so on so uh, similarly you can hide some layers similarly you can lock some layers so that the other person do not uh, uh, changes your predefined <coughs> states Okay, now we will go towards the next step. Um, this is basically eraser. This is just a simple command used to delete our lines and uh, explode. Okay, so exploded view or explode is basically something that uh, uh, engineers, those who are studying CAD or CAD related subjects, can understand. Mm, basically, exploded view is to uh, openly describe the um, thing. Uh, for example, if uh, uh, we take an example of nut and bolts, the exploded view will openly um, it is describe, openly show the open nuts and bolts or flanges or some pump um, and or some other thing like that. Okay, this is offset. Offset is basically used to um, provide um, concentric or parallel lines and parallel curves at some distance. You can um, change that distance, that uh, radius, depending upon your requirements. And here is the tax. Text is uh, just a simple command. You can add multi line text or single line text by using the text. Then you can um, write your name of your company or you can add title of your drawing <coughs> and blog, blog, and other things. Okay. Mm. So this is table. Table uh, is basically this is used just uh, similar to that of the table that we use in Excel. This is used to represent our data in tabular form and then export this data to Excel sheet or we can import some data from our Excel sheet and then uh, use this data in uh, AutoCAD. Okay, this is leader. Leader is basically <coughs> uh, used to uh, highlight some portion of uh, our detailed drawing, just like a um, balloon and something. Okay, this is basically linear dimension. This is okay, actually okay. So this is used to measure the linear dimension of our length. 
and uh, similarly we will have uh, a line dimension and angular dimension which is basically used to measure angles between two lines or two um, uh, sectors sorry angle of a sector and similarly this is arc length okay so this 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 is used to this section is this block section is used to add some additional data import data from our um, uh, computer and then insert this into our uh, 2D wireframe. This is measurement which is uh, basically uh, similar to that of the dimension but it, it, it basically doesn't appear in that drawing but it will uh, be removed when you uh, get out of your 2D wireframe. This is just like a meter tape, it will just show you the distance and then after that it will be removed. Okay, mm, so we have uh, had a lot of discussion in this uh, section of uh, AutoCAD. Here we have different options like home, insert, animate, parametric, uh, view, manage, output, plugin, um, all in and express tools. Okay, so this is not something that needs to be elaborated, something that uh, was, was to be elaborated has been discussed uh, in this video already. Now we will <clears throat> see what else feature do we have in AutoCAD. So the other feature in AutoCAD is that we can add <clears throat> our uh, components by using commands. Command. We have different commands in AutoCAD like line, polyline, circle. Similarly, we, we, we have uh, extend command array command, cut command, and or trim command. So instead of just going our taking our cursors to the yeah, upper section and then pull and then selecting those options, we can directly add our command, uh, write the name of our uh, required component in the command section and then we, we can use this directly. So this is a WCS. Mm, or we will, uh, uh, or we can call it a UCS. This is basically user coordinate system or working coordinate system. Uh, we call it. This is basically used to uh, show the different views of views of our object. Design, 3D design, object, object. We will have top view, bottom view, side view, and uh, <coughs> front view. Similarly, uh, back view as well as so. Uh, this is all we have um, in AutoCAD. This is our application view here. We can uh, application button. We can open our drawings, save our drawings, export, export in the form of PDF and other lot more options. I think we have had enough discussion in our this video. Uh, else, it will get longer because we also have to discuss our second software, which is. Um, SolidWorks. Okay, let's move towards the SolidWorks, and there it goes. Okay, so this is our SolidWorks, and the initial representation of the SolidWorks looks like just empty. So, um, so first of all, I would like to show you that uh, when we open some new file in the SolidWorks, we will just click on the new button, and then we will have three different options. Okay. First one is part, second one is assembly, and the third one is drawing. The basic difference between these three <coughs> portion of AutoCAD is in part, we will just design a part file. In the assembly section, we will draw a complete assembly of our, of our profile. And in drawing section, uh, we will practically <coughs> display that just like uh, uh, we used to do in uh, AutoCAD in the form of title block. In SolidWorks, we do not have uh, anything like title block, but we do this by using this drawing section. Okay, so um, let's first uh, uh, start our this part section. But before starting that section, I would like to tell you one more thing. These basically have same. <coughs> These, all these three parts have same uh, drawing tools. Um, 
just uh, apart from this assembly drawing here actually we combine all the components of our assembled product and then <clears throat> show this assembled product in this assembly section here we have different options like mate and uh, uh, similarly okay now um, instead of telling you uh, verbally i think i should uh, do I, I should show you things practically okay let's go to the part section initially okay here we go okay <clears throat> so finally the preview of solidworks has been opened and here you can see it's quite obvious that it's a lot more different than, than the previous one of uh, autocad and only some of the commands or some of the components are similar just like as you can see we have lines square ellipse similarly we have polygon this is okay so the thing in the autocad we were <coughs> we saw as a linear dimension here it will be called as a small dimension so uh, it's just a uh, it's not only the chain in name but also the chain in function here so the small dimensions actually help you in defining the dimension of your line or your <coughs> circle or whatever you say in other words you can say that you can change the dimension of your line by just changing the value of your small dimension and the thing will be done while on the other hand in AutoCAD you will have to manually reduce or <coughs> extend the line by using extend and reduce command okay <coughs> similarly we have trim entities trim is similar to that of the uh, autocad that is used to cut the line or cut some circle some some portion of the drawing okay mm, just like the um, ucs of autocad here we have the plain uh, direct um, options of watching plane by just clicking on them front plane we can watch top plane we can watch right plane similarly <coughs> we have this is uh, um, the sketch option we can um, use any of these two sketches to uh, uh, view the 3d sketch of our project of our product or the 3d sketch of our product okay uh, okay, and now let's see to this uh, um, this uh, ribbon uh, bar of uh, this solid works. Here you can see its file and it used insert tools and simulation. We have actually different option than that of the AutoCAD because the feature of because of this feature of simulation. You can see in AutoCAD we can actually simulate sorry in solidworks we can actually simulate the different mechanical properties of different metals and different materials while we do not have such options of simulation or uh, studying our um, products how they will uh, behave at certain temperature certain pressure certain flow rate so if we look solid works from this per perspective from mechanical point of view uh, the solid works is far far better than that of the autocad <clears throat> because you have here another option of uh, motion study where you can actually practically um, simulate or um, I should use proper term of uh, um, 3d represent the pro uh, your product in by using different lights cameras scenes by changing your background although you can do it in the RGAP too but in uh, this SOLIDWORKS views you can use different light intensities to magnify your product to elaborate the view of your product okay similarly you can add words you can uh, add actuators you can add sensors yes you can add actuators and sensors in solid verbs 
to simulate your product to describe your product what it will be uh, what will it be looks like in theory when once it finally has been uh, designed so without any investment you can display the actual preview of your desired product by using SOLIDWORKS okay so um, similarly here you can see this hidden belt and chain mechanism you can actually uh, draw or you can make your uh, roller and belt mechanism similarly you can also <coughs> do it similarly here this is option of uh, actually these these things are actually uh, related to weld melts and sheet metal work sheet metal is another branch of mechanical department which uh, people who have uh, who have background related to mechanical will understand similarly you can show the <coughs> injection molding of your pro or of your product in this software so overall if we look at this uh, SOLIDWORKS software it has much much more variety much much more usage much much more uh, easiness and uh, options different varieties in this software as compared to the AutoCAD okay one <clears throat> uh, you know back point of this SOLIDWORKS is that it is not as um, uh, as a whole proper or uh, good software for civil purposes for example if you want to draw the 2d drawing of your some plot or of your some building if you want to draw elevation it won't help as fast as fast as the AutoCAD can so um, if we compare both of these software we can literally say that both of these software have has their own um, properties have their own usage uh, personally when i do my own personal work i would rather i would rather use uh, solid works for mechanical uh, things mechanical related stuff and for civil drawing for <coughs> civil plotting for uh, civil related structure for architectural drawing i should say or for plan views i I use um, the AutoCAD. Okay, one more thing that I would like to further elaborate about both of these software is that in AutoCAD we have <coughs> easy dropping. We have uh, we can easily drop things. We can easily make our drops in AutoCAD, but in SolidWorks the dropping is a little bit difficult. So. Um, I hope that uh, this whole uh, scenario would really have helped you in understanding the difference between both of these software um, and uh, in future we will start our um, classes on how to draw uh, 2D structures or 3D structures in both of these software individually we will work on both mechanical and civil perspectives and we will show you how to work in both of these capacities and our third objective will be <coughs> to render those 3d design products okay it's quite enough for today's because it's getting <coughs> lengthier and lengthier and uh, um, I, I don't think so that a youtube video should um, cross a 30 minute of uh, limit because it will make lecture boring Okay, so this is the maximum uh, thing that we I can elaborate during this time span. We have a lot of more other options like uh, performance evaluation and um, sensors and other things. This is like this measure, measuring. This is just like the measurement in AutoCAD as we saw in, in this in this video. This no that measurement and this measure has both the same function. Okay, we will more discuss in our upcoming videos and then best of luck for your um, design related <coughs> courses and Allah Hafiz. Thank you.